The Arkham Asylum for the Criminally Insane. Board opted to discontinue security guards at the front gate. And suddenly... Hello, Floyd! Joker. If I'd known you were coming, I'd have done my hair. Or at least put on my merkin. I've got a green one, don't you know? The curtains have to match the drapes, as they say. <laughs> they got you locked up good and tight, huh? This is the same stuff they made the Pope mobile out of, I'm told, only thicker. I miss the bars, but throw one measly piece of poo at a guard, and suddenly it's all bulletproof glass for our hero. <laughs> Of course, the poo did have razor blades in it, but still. To what do I owe the pleasure of this late night poppin', don't you know? Uh, I'm here to kill you, laughing boy. Huh. Well, that'll save me for having to finish this knee slapper. It's one of my favorites. I don't doubt it. But Floyd, I hate to be that guy and all, but do you mind sharing the reason you want to do me dirty? Uh, it's nothing personal, Joker. Got a call two weeks ago from a parent whose kid you killed looking for some payback. At first, I was all set to turn him down, considering you're a pretty hard mark to reach, but I've got a soft spot for the parents of murdered children being one myself, so I took the commission, even gave him a discount rate, so I guess it is kind of personal. You're the proverbial whore with a heart of gold, Floyd. You do know that I rarely kill children, right? Uh, this wasn't a kid kid, high schooler. He got tweaked out on chuckles and threw himself off the cafeteria roof during lunch. The kid went from brown bagging it to body bagging it, huh? <laughs> but pray tell, what's chuckles? They don't uh, let you read the papers in here? Just the comic section. Except Family Circus, they take that strip out because it tends to rile up some of the more touchy inmates. The ones that like to touch children, I mean. <laughs> You remember Maxie Zeus? Was that like Mary Worth? Because I never read that soap opery crap. For better or for worse, grinds my gears too. It's not a comic, Maxie Zeus. A crime lord. Wait, you mean the lamest boss in Gotham Underworld? That's the one. Well, he found an old cachet of your Joker venom last time you got put away, and he started cutting it with ecstasy. Apparently, if you dilute the dosage, your poison gives a great high. What? <laughs> Apparently, if you dilute the dosage, your poison gives a great high. What? <laughs> they call it chuckles on account of it's a giggly high, too. Apparently, people love a drug that makes them stupid. Stuff caught on the clubs first, uh, then spread out into the suburbs. Side effects are pretty nasty, as you might imagine. Lockjaw, paranoia, psychosis. But one of dangerous side effects ever stopped folks from doing drugs. It's become pretty popular, at least in Gotham. Last month, Time called it the worst drug epidemic since crack in the late 80s. That two-bit carpetbagger, he's ruining my good name. Good? Venom, jo Joker's ve Joker Venom's supposed to be feared, not rocked at a kegger. That is classic Joker right there. Guys making a fortune off some poison you created, and what's bugging you the most is that people are getting an... <laughs> Unhealthy kick from your poison now instead of dropping dead instantly. If it's any consolation, some folks are overdosing on chuckles, too. So you're still kind of racking up the body count. I'll kill him! Oh, you're such a comedian. Do me a solid and step away from the glass, please. I want you in one piece when I empty two clips in your head. Says we won't be needing the trank darts anymore. Up and at them. Brains go splat them. Any last words, funny boy? Chick, chick. To the wash. Nice outfit. Blam, 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 blam. Hey, Pistol Pete, I don't know who you are, but my guy hired you to ice this clown, too. You could forget about it. This is my commission, you hear me? Floyd, my toilet's on fire over there. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you. I'm going to take a peek and see where he's at. Blam. Damn! Heavens to Murgatroyd! <laughs> Deadshot's been shot dead! <laughs> huh? Huh. 
Russell. Will you stop that? Christ Almighty! Oh man, there's a murder of cops out there. You gotta give me a piece. Click. A simple no would suffice. What's this? You want me to take it? Look! Can you shut up for a second? I can't think with all your chatter. <laughs> Tough crowd. You have no idea. <laughs> okay, I'll play along, Harpo. What's in the... Oh, my. Um, this is for me? Oh, now I get it. You've got one of those clown fetishes. Well, all right. But listen, Slappy, I bought him from the top, okay? Just do me a favor and don't ever tell Tetch. Shh. That midget's been trying to get me to do this for years, Mal, and I told him I don't swing that way. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> Seduced? And abandoned. <laughs> I feel so dirty. Um, uh, then we segue uh, to a house where there's a couple lying in bed wearing mirrored glasses. Ladies and panels, they should not be thanking me. They're not judging me with their clear eyes. Glasses and more. The glasses can see themselves reflecting the hair of the glasses. Beginning to baptize them with a lizard and knife and a plot. Oh, God, take my medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, got to do them next. But first, need to need to honor the dead with his marks. Kids. Gotta do them next, but first, need to, need to honor the dead with his marks. Should just snap his neck. <laughs> this abomination. No room, no space left on the canvas of my flash. Better cut. <laughs> Carefully. I should let him do it first. The sick degenerate. Instead, I crash Zaz's unholy bris. Baruch haba, scumbag. <laughs> of all the lunatics I spent my life putting down, I hate this one the most. I am Karen, the ferryman. I am Michael, the archangel. I am Shiva, the god of death. I am Samhain. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Too late, yet again. I offer a silent apology to the victims I failed to protect from another madman. No, not just victims. People. Two people who somehow found one another in an otherwise horrible world. Like my parents. Oh no. Parents. Children. No more marks tonight, Saz. I swear. Fly away, Batman! You hear me? Get out of here! I send these kids to meet their parents! Mommy! I'm just fibbing to him, kid. I've got to kill you and your sister only because I love you so much. This will only sting for a second. I kill you! My heart breaks for the children. Two more innocents. Orphaned by Gotham's madness. Don't worry, kids. Boop. The monster can't hurt you now. Mega hole. Zaz is restrained on the second floor. They'll require medical attention. See that he doesn't get it for at least an hour. The commission is looking for you, sir. He said to tell you. Code green. Not again. We're now back at Arkham Asylum where Batman is talking to Commissioner Gordon at the scene of the crime in the Joker's cell. Happened about an hour ago. No shine of him. We don't know how he got out yet. How many dead? That's the thing. Nobody's dead. Well, except one. We've got about a dozen guards and personnel shot up with tranquilizer darts and dead shot's body. Body? <laughs> Yeah, looks like somebody blew his brains out. The nearest we can figure is Deadshot broke in to bust the clown out, then the Joker turned on him. Where's Deadshot? They just loaded him into the meat wagon. Emmy tried to get his outfit off of him, but he's rigged with some kind of sealant. They're going to try to cut it off of him in his costume at the morgue for the autopsy. Inside the ambulance, there's a, a body bag on a stretcher, and suddenly it starts uh, zipping open, and Sean William Scott pops out. No, they, it zips open. Dead shot leans forward, and he's holding his head. Ugh. Lawton. Ah! Boop. Boop. You spooky son. Looking for these? Now unlock your mask before I beat you into a coma. <sighs> Bite X. 
activated locking mechanism. Interesting. Secondary armor beneath the Kevlar faceplate. Clever. <laughs> the blood pack liner is a stroke of genius, but not nearly as innovative as the insulated costume that masks pulmonary functions and breathing. All designed so that you can play possum if you're shot. Score another one for the great mouse detective. You got a cigarette, and then Batman lunges at him and grabs his throat. What the hell did you do, Lawton? Why did you break the Joker out of Arkham? I wasn't there to break him out, I swear. I was hired to kill him by the father of some kid who OD'd on Chuckles, and this other guy showed up, and they just started shooting at me. Boop. What other guy? I don't know. I never saw him before, man. He was another mask strapped with twin desert eagles. And? And he got the drop on me and, and, and shot me in the head. That's all I know, man. I just figured that the father hired both of us to do the same job, and the other guy snapped when he found out I beat him to the Joker. Did he do it? Did, they, did he kill the clown? I hope so. Why have we stopped? You're, you're not going to just let me go, are you? Hey, bats. And Batman shoots off a grappling gun. <laughs> well done. Uh, Lawton comes to the uh, doors of the ambulance and sees Com Commissioner Gordon and all the cops. He says, oh, nuts. Hello, Floyd. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> this is a week later. We're at the Olympus, which is Maxi Zeus's club. And we hear uh, Maxi Zeus, who is being interviewed by a female journalist. Oh, puny mortal. <laughs> have you no faith in your God? Behold the divine power of the mighty Zeus. Is this your card? That was my card. <laughs> and that's about the extent of my Gandhi powers now. So we've seen the end of the toga-wearing Maxi Zeus then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no more sandals for me. It's only $1,800 balloonies from here on out. <laughs> Look, I get it. I've had some pretty public extended psychological breakdowns. I can't hide from the fact that every news station in town has footage of me running around looking like Brad Pitt in Troy. Ooh -ah. <laughs> But that's all behind me now. Two years ago, I finally got the help I needed. I'm on prescribed medication to stabilize my diagnosed bipolar disorder. The dementia's gone. The delusion, the grandeur, oh, gone. <laughs> I paid my debts to society, so to speak. And now I just want to continue building the company and let slip away while I was battling mental illness. Maxi Zeus is dead. But Maximilian Zeus, the shipping magnet with legitimate business, is very much alive and well. Some have suggested that not all of your business ventures are legitimate, Mr. Zeus. How do you address the accusations that you're behind the multi-million dollar chuckles epidemic? I think it's tragic that in this, the 21st century, there's still a rampant ethnic discrimination. I'm a Greek, a foreigner, so naturally I must be up to no good. As long as old white men run this country, the politicians and the media will always offer up a boogeyman with an accent or a darker skin tone as a scapegoat for every problem they can't or won't fix themselves. They foster mistrust and hatred rather than unity because they have to fuel fear, you see, so they can keep all of us from addressing the real problems at the voting booths. Boop. Teresa tells us that the simplest solution is always the best, yes? Well, based on that, who do you think is designed a designer drug synthesized from a toxin created by the Joker? What will you do to dispel the rumors that you're the <laughs> Chuckles mastermind? All I can do is make the differences I can make to show Gotham and the world that I'm not a drug lord. I'm a philanthropist. That's why I funded the Parthenon, a state-of-the-art elementary school in Midtown. Private school educations at public prices. My nephew even goes there. We're building sharp young minds who will grow up and change the system one day. And we'll make these children, and when these children are adults, they'll make racism and fear-mongering a thing of the past. And one of his bodyguard cards, one of his bodyguards comes over and whispers to him, stop, 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 stop. What are you crazy? I'm in the middle of, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the Joker. Oh God. No. <laughs> 
We're gonna have to cut this short, miss. Oh, uh, we just still didn't get to talk about Olympus and what a hotspot it's become. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but we've just had something comes up that demands my immediate detention. Uh, Costas will show you out. How the hell did this happen? When did he escape? And how'd he get in here? Nobody knows, sir, but all the kids and staff have been quietly evacuated except for your nephew's class. No cops and no press. You hear me? And especially no Batman. He, he doesn't want any of that. He says he just wants you. Mayor Cassis! I don't know what you're talking about, Maxie. It's all Greek to me. <laughs> the Joker's got a bunch of school kids, uh, one on his lap, and he shaved one eyebrow off each kid. He's got a gang of uh, thugs behind him, which are kind of frightening. Please, Joker, don't hurt the kids. Oh, that's rich, coming from the drug peddler. Now run along, little Aesop. i got to have a word with your uncle. What's the idea, you thieving, oily goat lover? Now take it easy, Joker. I'm only going to take it all, Onassis, starting with your worthless bipolar hide. A man works his whole life to build a reputation for mayhem and murder, and then some two-bit wannabe hood with the worst gimmick this side of Calendar Man cheapens his best efforts to leave behind a legacy. Oh, I know. I'll make yet another dopey designer drug to goofy up the masses, because nobody's ever thought of something like that before, a doy. <laughs> What exactly did I say to you before they locked me up in Camp Happy the last time? What was the plan? Oh. <laughs> you asked me to randomly jokerize Gothamites on April 1st so that Batman would puzzle over whether you were at large or not and be forced to come see you at Gotham, in Arkham. At which time? At which time you were going to say, April Fool's to him. Simple instructions, Maxie. Very simple. Amygdala could have followed those instructions. But April Fool's Day came and went, and guess what? I got no visit from the bat. Instead of doing like I asked, you went and turned yourself into Scarface. <laughs> the Al Pacino Scarface, not the guy with the puppet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and for ruining your April Fool's Day prank, I'm sorry, truly. But Joker, come on! <laughs> this is so much better. Now we've got an empire now, a legitimate face, and half of that is yours. Oh, Maxie, 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 Maxie. Walk with me, my souflocky serping friend. I don't want an empire, buddy. Never did. All I want, all I've ever wanted, is to have a good time. And to annoy Batman whenever possible, of course. And to one day, of course, murder Batman and defile his carcass sexually. <laughs> and a pony. So all the money you're making off my creation doesn't interest me. The power, the glory, the, le the legitimacy that seems to make you feel like such a big boy. I don't give a rat's ass about that stuff. So what I'm saying is, well... You're not my friend anymore. Which means we've got a gang war on our hands. <laughs> oh, Joker. Ooh. You're a funny guy. With all due respect, my old friend, you don't want to go to war with me now. I'll crush you like a bug. Boop. And I'll crush you like a room full of unibrow school kids. <laughs> I don't get it. Nice. And falls down, and then a car pulls up, screeches up. Joker's uh, gang's there. Joker gets into the car, and just before they leave, he says, Get it? And then the car screeches off. <laughs> and then as Maxi Zeus watches a uh, school full of children uh, burn, oh. uh, he loses his mind and says to his friend Costas, Get me my toga! Get me my toga! 